It was actually one of her proms. I think it was her senior prom and her cat that she loved so much who happened to die almost a year after Sarah had passed. And it says on it, always in my heart. And the other side is the last picture I had taken with him. It was his college graduation. Matthew was killed shortly after graduating. And on the back of it is his name and his date of birth and his end of watch date. I would never have a daughter-in-law, never have grandchildren, never have him walk me down the aisle. You know, I never in my wildest dreams imagined my son would be killed in the way that he was. He did everything right. He worked for the Sheriff's Department as a 911 dispatcher in Riverside, California. And on July 12, 2012, our lives were completely destroyed. Sarah was considered brain dead as soon as she arrived at University Hospital. My son ultimately ended up dying two hours later in surgery, and it has forever left um, a gaping hole in my heart. And he uh, tied Joshua up after he tortured him, and um, then he bought gasoline and, and put him in a field and set him on fire. I will never get a chance to see my son again.